guys, welcome to today's video. And in today's video, we are going to be making a Valentine's Day heart bracelet. And let's get started. You're going to be needing a rainbow loom and some kind of hook and some rubber bands. So you can pause the video if you, if you need to get these materials. So I'm getting my materials and now we can get started. What you're gonna do is, I'm gonna use clear for this color because I think it's so cool when you use clear and it will look really good. You could also use, use uh, you can also use white, but basically we're gonna start in the middle and go vertically all the way down your rainbow loom. Now I did my clear middle, so it's clear, so I'm not sure how well you can see it, but this is how it looks. And I did it all the way down to the end of my loom. Now you're going to take the color that you want for your heart, and I'm gonna do black. So we're gonna be making a heart that looks like this. So pick the color you want for your heart, and you're gonna go like that. Then you skip two, go to the third one. Skip two, go to the third one. And let's just skip two. Let's go to the third one so you have one. And you can customize this and do as many hearts as you want. Or if you want, you can just do only one heart or do like a bunch of hearts. I'm only doing four because I'm skipping two. I think it looks really cool that way. So yeah, that's what I have right here. Okay, so we're going to add cap bands on the... So for our hearts, we're going to add cap bands on like that. So you're going to twist it around three times and then place it on. So I like to do it three times, but you can also do it two times. I like doing it three times because it gives me a more tighter thing. But if you want it to be a little bit looser, then you can do two. I'm just doing three. And you twist it around two or three times. And then you keep on doing that. Well, anyways, I'm almost done, so I'm not gonna pause the video right now. Okay, almost done. Like that. So now you're gonna take the color that you want for your border, and it helps me if I flip my looms arrows up to do the border. I'm gonna do pink for my border because I think this will make an awesome Valentine's Day. Pink, and I love using pink jelly. Pink is my favorite color, but pink jelly is just, I don't know, I love it, it's amazing. So I, can, I used both hands to do it at the same time, so I can do it a little bit more quick. But basically, I'm doing the border. So this part is optional, but um, so once you've placed your border bands, you're going to take another color for your border bands, and we're not doing a cap band, actually. We're just making some figure eights or Xfinity twists. And then you do that all the way down your limb. We're just going to make Xfinity twists. All the way down. So I'm, this won't take too long. This is just a quick little step that will make your bracelet a little bit more even. But you don't have to do it because it is optional. So if you're not doing the step, then you can always um you can fast forward the video. Okay, and we're not doing it here. So guys, we're gonna go inside our cap band and we're going to, ah, we're gonna hook our borders. So my border is pink, yours maybe, I don't know, white, black, or maybe even yours is pink too, but I like pink. So you're just gonna hook your border all the way down your lip. So once you've hooked the border, now we're going to hook the heart. So what you do is you go in here and make sure you go ahead and pause the video and take some time to hook your border. So we're just 
hooking all of the hearts. So just go in. And a lot of people think we hook from the cap bands, but we actually don't. And the hearts don't take that long to hook, especially if you followed me and only did three hearts. But if you did more, then, they, then it will take longer. Anyways, this is what I have for the hearts. I'm going to hook the clear single chain. So you go inside the cap band and hook the clear bands all the way down your loom. Once you have hooked the clear single chain that goes down your loom, this is what your loom should look like. A little bit of my bracelet fell off, but that's okay because anyways, right now we're taking the bracelet off of our loom. So go ahead and take it off your loom. Putting on the extension for this bracelet now. It's going to C-clip your two ends in this part is probably the easiest part of the bracelet, at least in my opinion. The extension is also pretty easy. It's just a basic single chain. And now I have a cap band somewhere here. Let me find it. Okay, there it is. It was really tight, so it was hard to pull it. But anyway, so I, ha I have S-clips, so I use an S-clip. But if you have C-clips, then you can use that. So thank you guys so much for making this Valor Times Day Heart rubber band bracelet with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you all in my next video. Bye.